and strategies that whether you are a beginning option trader or or intermediate or even advanced there's a lot of option presenters here today many very qualified and our expertise in the field is tying the chart pattern into the appropriate option strategy so we're going to talk about buying stocks at wholesale which is uh, pretty much selling puts in this example and then generating a monthly income both on your long-term holdings as well as selling credit spreads uh, uh, weekly and monthly so i've been in this business over 25 years i have a passion for trading since i was a kid met uh, greg capra who uh, my business partner we founded master trader together um, last year and uh, greg as many of you know is the the industry leader in technical analysis so with my love for options and working with Greg since uh, the late 1990s, uh, we combined our expertise to form this company, which specializes in not only trader education, but um, these strategies that we're going to review um, right now. In addition to many others, of course, uh, we actually do on a consulting basis for hedge funds, um, high net worth individuals, family offices, etc. But our goal is to empower you to make your own trading decisions and in accordance with your own trading style, your own personality. The obligatory disclaimer, you've seen it uh, with the other speakers, it, uh, the obvious is trading involves loss. We're speculating based upon this, our particular strategy that the underlying instrument we're trading is is going to behave in a certain way and we uh, put money on the line uh, under the expectations that we're going to get paid for that so of course it involves risk but it's all about calculated risk and our approach to trading options is again everything starts with the chart but then we we like to deploy high probability strategies and just repeat them over and over again. It's that simple. So a quick little um, option basics here for some of you new to the field. Let's just define what an option is. What is it? It's a contract similar to you entering into a, a purchase option to buy your neighbor's house, for example, or sell your house. It's a contract that allows for the right, but not the obligation, to buy or sell something. The something in this case is an underlying security, a stock. It could be a commodity, a future, ETF, currency. We're going to be talking about stocks. You get to exercise that right on or before a expiration date and at an agreed upon price. That's what an option is. So many people are afraid of the word stock option that they just put their head in their hole until they allow us to show them the three-dimensional ease and advantages that they have over trading single dimensional stocks and any instrument that you're only going to profit one by one if you're right on the bullish or bearish uh, position options allow us to have so many different biases and still get paid without having to time the entry with perfection that you would in trading stocks. So a couple more definitions here before we cover the two strategies. Call buyers, they pay money and they have the right to buy the stock. Sellers take that money from the call buyer and they have an obligation to sell the stock at that agreed upon price. So we're going to be covering here call sellers in our covered call um, trade. Call buyers, we also obviously do directional trades, um, but we, we have specific guidelines, of course. Everything starts with the chart, but we buy in the money calls. I'm going to show you the benefit of selling options in this particular um, brief seminar because of the odds stacked in your favor and giving you an edge when you sell premium. So we're going to be the call seller in the covered call example. People who buy put options, they pay money and they have the right 
not the obligation, to sell. So this is bearish and they get paid for the stock to go down. This is what we're going to cover next, put sellers. We take in that money directly deposited to our brokerage account and we get paid for that in exchange for having an obligation to buy. I'll let the chart examples speak for themselves. So premium option sellers, we take in money and that gives us a defined edge to the trade. This is what's called a, a the time expiration risk graph of, a, of an option. It's the time decay curve. When you buy a call or put option, the premium expires like a melting ice cube that if the underlying stock does not move in the intended direction, it is evaporating. Your option to buy or sell is expiring. That's why we love selling them. 85% of options expire worthless. We call this daily time decay of an options value expiring or decaying, if you will. That's our daily paycheck as option sellers. You can see here in the last 30 days of an, of an options expiration, the time decay is the most rapid. You see it falling off a cliff here. So that logically explains why at MasterTrader, our option selling strategies, we specialize in selling them from two days to 45 days. This is our sweet spot of finding compelling patterns to sell options and spreads on. This is the one point I just want to highlight here for you is how volatility, the top chart here is a weekly chart of the S&P 500, the SPY ETF. Below this is the volatility index the SIBO volatility index. You notice that on every market sell-off, the volatility spikes. When volatility spikes, people are rushing to the option market and buying puts for protection, hedging, etc., driving up the cost, the premium of those puts. Uh, pretend I live in South Florida, so we get hurricanes every now and then pretend if there was a hurricane two days offshore and I call my broker and ask for a flood policy he's gonna say gladly but it's gonna cost you so when volatility spikes we look for a compelling pattern not only in spiders but in any liquid S&P 500 stock and we're looking to sell these overpriced puts. First strategy, selling covered calls for monthly income. So I'm assuming this is going to apply for anybody holding um, swing trades to long-term trades. You just have a portfolio of stocks. And if you've just been a buy and hold investor, I want to change your thinking and hopefully your profitability from this day forward. I mean, of course, you're going to need a little more education other than this 30-minute this lesson, but I promise you it's going to give you an incredible jump start and motivate you to get the extra education once you see how easy this is. All we're looking for on selling calls against our long-term holdings is any picture, any picture of candlesticks that shows that the upward momentum of your stock has stalled. It's that simple. And we teach these patterns at uh, Master Trader, of course, and Greg being the, you know, the, just the absolute master, that's why we're a, a, a pretty lethal combination. So here's a beautiful double top. Here's an extended stock, topping tail, a shakeout, falls breakout, you know, supply building. I'm not going to get into the patterns or the names. It doesn't matter. These are all pictures of it's time to sell call options. 
And I'm just going to give you one example, but I just showed you the, the candlesticks of numerous examples. Amazon has been just a stellar. So this was back in October. I know it's June now, and it's uh, recently passed um, $1,000. So I'm going to be clear, obviously, um, that this is a monthly strategy. It's not capping the gains on your long-term holdings forever. I'll clarify that again in a moment. So this is one of my pictures. It's extended far from the moving averages and it's rolling over. Would I sell this stock if it was a long-term holding? Of course not, it's in a powerful uptrend. But selling monthly out of the money calls against your stock when momentum has stalled and the odds are suggesting either a consolidation over time or a retracement in price action, it is the ideal time to sell out of the money call options to put some money in your brokerage account. And it's a way to constantly lower your cost basis. So let's look at the math on this one. So Amazon here, we'll just round up saying it was uh, 840 right here when it's rolling over. So we're selling the 845 out of the money calls for $32.30 .30 a share. That's 39 days to expiration. We, we just picked the monthly one. I said monthly, but anywhere around there is fine. Just pick a liquid, liquid uh, expiration, 25, 39. So by selling this call, we are giving the call buyer the right, but not the obligation to buy our Amazon shares at 845 a share within the next 39 days. We put $32 and change in our pocket. So your break even on this transaction of making this decision, you add 845 to 3230 and that's 87730 that's 38, I'm sorry, 3.8% return to your break even. You are in, you, you, as long as it stays under that break even, you've made 3.8% on Amazon that the buy and hold owner did not make. That's just one example. Obviously, the many more. We have a. Um, we just finished an incredible ten-module option strategy series for investors and traders course. Um, one complete mod module is on covered calls. Another module, obviously, is on um, you know selling options for and credit spreads, etc. So now I'm going to cover the second strategy for the night: selling naked puts both for income and if you would like to own the underlying at an improved cost basis, this is a phenomenal strategy. These are the only movements a stock can make. Uptrend, downtrend, sideways trend. Our approach, we're using compelling patterns and we're just placing a bet, so to speak, speculative bet, that the pattern is not going to violate that strike. So here's our little man here saying, you better stay away from that strike. I don't care if you go up, down, or sideways. Just don't violate my strike at expiration. So we're going to focus on shorting puts. The stock can go up. You make full profit. The stock can go sideways. You make full profit. The stock can go slightly down as long as it stays above your break even. So remember in the Amazon case, what did I say? 877 spot 30. You had a 3.8% cushion to be wrong and you still made money. That doesn't exist in the stock market, trading stocks alone. So that's the cushion that we absolutely love in selling premium versus buying. 
Now, I, I said earlier that we do buy calls and puts when we have a directional bias and we're expecting a huge target and we don't want to cap our potential gains. But then when we're in trade management mode, we still deploy shorting options around it when momentum stalls, just like I started out the prior chapter showing you pictures of momentum stalling. So we're always in our arsenal of, of, of strategies, of tools. We always have selling options in our, in our toolkit. So this is like, think of it of like an insurance company or even Las Vegas. We're the house. We get paid each day unless there's an unexpected disaster. So in that Amazon example, only if the thing gapped up from 845 to $1,000 would we have not lost money, bear in mind, but we've capped our gains at the break-even spot. Oh, and the other point on um, Amazon, again, that I wanted to highlight was even though Amazon's over $1,000 today, that was a one-month trade on selling that call option. We're only capping our gains there. And then if the pattern turned around and you knew woke up the next day and didn't want to cap your gains anymore, guess what? You buy the call option back and you've lost nothing. It, it, it shocks me how the media, many brokers, the SEC, et cetera, selling naked puts is so risky, don't do it. We'll let you, we'll let you buy uh, Facebook at $150, but God, we will not let you sell a 140 put on it. I mean, you're going to see what I mean more in a moment. So when we sell puts, my contractual obligation, I have an obligation to buy the stock at the strike price on or before expiration. At Master Trader, we start with the pattern. We're selling the strike under support where we think it's going to expire worthless. We put the money in our pocket. That's our maximum gain. If disaster strikes and it gaps below it and, and you know, we're getting assigned the stock, this is our, this is our worst case situation. The strike price minus the money received is our max loss, but it's less risk by definition compared to somebody buying the stock at the same time. Warren Buffett's no dummy. We know that. He makes billions of dollars of doing this every year. Money managers, uh, smart investors, they do this to generate monthly income on, on quality stocks, quality patterns. And we do the same and want to teach you how to do it. Or as I said, if you have a huge portfolio will be happy to to um, show you how to do it or do it for you. These are now the pictures that we're looking for in selling out of the money puts. So keep it simple. We're, we're visual people. Start with a bullish pattern. These are all pictures of bullishness. First example, CF Industries. Big downtrend, nice bottoming pattern, wide range, uh, wide range bar out of a base. That's a very confident bottoming pattern to us. So we pick a strike price out of the money and we determine how long do we want to issue insurance on this particular pattern. I would go all the way out to 45 days on this one because I'm pretty confident that's a nice bottom and I want to get paid for it. So let's look at the math on this one. If we're a, selling a $22.5 put, we're taking in 42 cents a share. So if you sell a 10 lot of these puts, you're putting $420 in your pocket. According to the option probability table, it calculates an 80% probability that that's going to expire worthless. I don't pay much attention at all to this column. Why? Because we're expert chartists and this is our specialization. I think there's a very high likelihood that that's going to hold that bottom. So we're selling it for um, 42 cents a share. 
That's our theta paycheck as that evaporates day by day into expiration. So this, so this is our combination, compelling pattern, high implied volatility premiums are preferred, awesome short credit spread or naked put candidate. Another example, Humana. You know, there, this was a during, uh, you know, this was, there was some pending, not pending news, but you know, in the middle of all this healthcare stuff. So the implied volatility on these uh, big health insurance companies was huge. So we didn't want to take a long-term bet. So we took a short-term bet. Remember I said selling options and spreads is an excellent way to generate weekly income, weekly and monthly, because why? We do it every single week. We find these patterns. So here's one I actually typed up and put in our, our Facebook um, membership page. So Humana, you could you know read what I typed there. I said, although I would not buy the stock, because you know the daily's kind of a it's a mess. The daily's a mess, the weekly it's kind of a mess, but I love this bottoming tail from this igniting bar. Look at this. So we sold a a out of the money put the 180 put and even though i just mentioned we're going to be focusing on selling puts in this chapter the only difference between selling a naked put and a bull put spread is we're buying a further out of the money put for protection it's our disaster protection uh, makes it a defined risk trade plus it's less margin. So those are two benefits why we do spreads. So this is a $10 wide spread. If we sold a 10 lot, which represents 1,000 shares of the underlying, we would put $500 into our brokerage account. We only had eight days to expiration. That's what DTE is. So starting with the chart, would would any of you who know chart reading should be able to look at the this daily chart and weekly chart and say that ain't going there even our girlfriend says that don't go there that's a long that's 25 dollars away our theta daily paychecks 80 dollars a day roi on the ten thousand dollars of margin is over 5% and the stock could fall 12% and $500 still stays in our pocket. That does not exist in trading stocks, ladies and gentlemen. So I mentioned to you that we have a, a, an incredible 10 module course Greg and I put together. Uh, we have a, it's, it's A to Z. Um, we divide after we go through, you know, the basics, terminology, a much more in-depth discussion on option pricing. Not crazy that you're going to learn in grad school. We're only teaching you the stuff you need to be confident and start trading these strategies that we do every single day. We divide them up and we just very simply call them bucket one or bucket two. Bucket one are directional trades where we have a piggish big target. Everything else falls under bucket number two designed to generate cash, bring sell, sell, sell premium around compelling part of compelling patterns rather and generate that weekly and monthly income. So you can go to the website. It's actually not even formally there yet. It should be coming out in the next couple of days, but that's an incredible course um, that you can read about or email me. I'm uh, Dan at uh, mastertrader.com, of course, and I will also be happy to send you the PDF of this presentation tonight. But here's another offer. Um, this is our all-inclusive advisory market edge membership. And it's, it's less than 50, I don't even know the pricing. It's pretty darn cheap, um, whether you do a monthly or yearly. 
but our special is um, for a dollar. Test drive it. Everybody likes to 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 test drive things. I'm I'm the same way. So this is our offer to you to allow you to see our advisory letter where you get uh, Greg's phenomenal market analysis of technical analysis coupled with uh, market internals, which which are over the 20 some odd years have just been invaluable to call market turning spots, both for short term swing traders and long term core traders, market bottoms or tops. And, you know, so we've had so many followers wanting to core short for the longest time. And and and, you know, Greg could even send you the exact letter that he published um, the night before the Trump election. All the market internals were setting up for an end of year rally. And Greg says that in the moment. I mean, we're very objective of what we see. And, and people thought he was off his rockers, that the world was coming to an end and go back and look at the charts. And we had not only an end of year rally, we've had a 2017 uh, pretty robust, robust rally. So check us out. You get the letter, stock and options trade ideas, you know, just like the ones you saw here tonight, including many more monthly webinar, the private Facebook group, premium videos, et cetera. So that's it. It was a pleasure. Um, spending some time with you. I hope um, I met my promise in 30 minutes of either uh, piquing your interest and motivating you to get more education to implement these in your own um, portfolios, or if you've been trading, uh, giving you some additional things to think about to improve your approach. That's it. Have a great night, and thanks again, Dave. All right, well, thank you all for joining us. Again, you can find him at mastertrader.com. The link that he gave out, I put the link in the chat there, and also that link will go.